first month of the new year. Ooh, exciting. And if you guys didn't watch the New Year's prediction, uh, be sure to go do that. Okay, so. That will give you a little bit of a hint of what is going on for the new year for you. Okay. And getting straight in here. Best message, please, of the best house for Cancer Leo. Oh, what we got, guys? What do we got? Going straight into the ninth house to see that house of spirituality. Really feeling your spiritual points over here. Um, could be a lot of inspiring spiritual messages coming for you as well. Wow. Okay. And with Sagittarius energy coming in with Uranus energy. So the Uranus energy over here is, what is it, guys? What is it that's going on? This is your potential for sudden change, enlightenment, and awakening. And I think that's kind of crazy because I think that this is actually talking a lot about what we had just discussed in the um, predictions for the year, um, where we have this kind of sudden awakening. We have this kind of sudden change going on in the way you're seeing things. Things are coming at you. Um, maybe a cycle change, if I remember correctly. Um, the way that you're going to look at things and perceive things around you and just kind of like, boom, what happened? Like a lightning bolt kind of striking striking you um, to make you kind of see things in a different light to get you really moving. Um, and we're going to do it what? Or actually how? <laughs> we're going to do it with some Sagittarius energy over here. This energy is very strong um, when it comes to what? Power. Superior confidence. Enthusiasm. The faith, going into that ninth house. Good fortune and authority, bringing in that good thor uh, good fortune, excuse me, from that what? Jupiter. Jupiter being its planet. So really having this sudden awakening with this good luck and the way you're perceiving things. There's a lot of perception going on over here. You can really feel that. There's something going on where you're just like, oh, and I didn't see it this way. It's some kind of radical shift that's occurring um, within yourself and the way that you're looking at things this month. And it may have been taking, you know, place last month, um, just before, uh, just around Christmas time, after Christmas time, before January. We are in a Mercury retrograde right now, so it could even have something to do with that, and so as having a radical shifts occur. Um, this is for broadening your horizon, either spiritually, academically, or the long journey. So kind of looking at the long journey, looking at what's going on around me your faith increasing in things that you're doing, being more faithful not only to yourself but to the path that you're on, seeing it, like I said, in a whole different, I don't know, kind of view. Maybe you only had a very narrow view of what was could happen, and now you're kind of like broadening the expansion over here of, oh, my God, this it could be this way, and that could be this way, and that could go that way. So really bringing in different kinds of decisions and stuff, too, as we're kind of looking at that. And it's really bringing in what? More power to you. Okay. So getting straight into this, we're going straight to the beginning of the month, the middle of the month, and the end of the month, talking about the what? In the ninth house, guys. Okay. Clarifying over here. Let's go, go, go. What do we have? The new beginning. It's a new beginning of the way that the sudden change in cycle is appearing, right? Patiently planning things, getting into this stability, getting into this radical shift of the way that things are going, planning certain things. And I think it's reorganizing, you know, looking at things, like I said, differently. And there definitely is something different going on in the way that you're perceiving things. It, you know, that's just really what it is. The way you're connecting with the faith around you, the connection that you're having through spirit itself, um, all because this Uranus decided that it wants to enlighten you. It wants to awaken you into a different way. It wants you to look at things differently. Okay? So, this is bringing in some victory. It wants you to be victorious. It, You know, spirit's like, I want you to be victorious. I want you to do this. But I really want you to get inspired. I really want you to look at this from a different point of view. What is it that you can bring in? What is it that you're missing? It must feel like there's like some kind of missing link, right? Where you could get so much more out of this than just from this tiny, narrow little road. Let's look at it from a different way. Okay. 
So getting some tarot cards on this. Wow, how exciting. This is going to be extremely passionate because with the passion coming through, it's just going to make you want to move quicker, faster, getting to what you need. Your intuition is on target right here. Really opening up your intuition. Really setting yourself up over here with trust and wisdom. If you know that you did something that, you know, you can always look back at and say, you know what, I could have done it this way, I could do it that way. But really using that intuition to really, and then of course we have that faith. Putting more faith in. Being more patient. Allowing the universe to kind of take control. Having the courage and the confidence coming up underneath that Sagittarius love. it got a beautiful Leo card coming through. Um, this is going to be your own energy, a piece of your own energy that's coming through, saying, now I feel more confident. I'm feeling the zest for life. I'm feeling more determined than I was before, but I understand that patience is going to be key. But I have to have more understanding. I have to know what I'm going to do and how I'm going to do it. Releasing the fears and anxieties of the situation. Not allowing any kind of inner confusion to go into the ninth house. If you have too much inner confusion, how are you going to keep the faith running? I have to allow the universe to let it flow. Give it to them. Let them do it. I put in all the hard work and then they take over. Fear and anxieties and all these things is not trust. That's not trusting that the universe has your back. That's not trusting in the faith that things are going to go your way. That's holding on to fears. That's saying, I don't trust you. And that's also saying you don't trust yourself. So this is where you're going to release. This is where you're going to have better understandings. No insecurities. Allowing it to go the way it needs to go. Emotionally putting everything into it that you truly need without overly putting in over emotions. Just allowing the passion, the connection, the transformation, the cycle change, the timing, everything to come through the way it needs to connect and trusting that everything will come through when perfect timing comes. And that's really what you're going to be giving. And if you haven't really started now, you know that that's the way. You know that that's what needs to be done. There's a piece within you and your gut feeling that's saying, you know, that's true. I really do need to do that. I do have the courage to do so. Maybe I'm just missing a little a little something, and maybe that was it. Okay, so very beautiful. Having more trust. Relaxing. That's a good one. Meditating. Relaxing. Okay. So going straight into the mid-month over here, guys. This is about, you know what? This is about how I'm going to do things, how I'm getting started, how I'm going to really, oh my gosh, fulfillment of wishment. Oh my. Wow. Okay. Because your heart chakra is open. Loving that heart chakra card. Oh my gosh. Releasing conflict and defeat. Not allowing anyone to come in and tell me what I'm going to do and what I can't do. Not allowing myself to tell myself, oh wait, maybe... I can't do that. No, you have the fulfillment of wishes over here. Everything's all, all of a sudden growing. You give all of this in the beginning of the month, and then all of a sudden by the middle of the month, you start seeing something change. There's a radical change. Ready? Sudden change. Sudden change in the way you're spiritually looking at things. Perception, intuition, open. Open, open, open. And then all of a sudden, a sudden change in the way you're getting things. Getting things moving. Getting things growing. Getting things done the way you're moving, speaking, doing things. People are going to see you as different. They're going to say, wow, who's this person? Who are you? You're not the person I know. But that's okay because you don't need to be the same person. We have growth, understanding, and awakening and enlightenment. We are someone different. Absolutely. I've grown. I've matured in a spiritual form. You're right, I'm not that same person. And that's that's not a bad thing. It's a good thing. Okay, so let's see what's going on over here.
there could be somebody that's been kind of just, I'm, you know what, this says there was a lot of haste, but I feel like there was a lot of waste. It feels like for some of you, someone is just wasting your time. They need to focus. They need to get in their, their ninth house. They're, you know, they're so focused on what you're doing. They need to, they need to keep moving and do what they need to do. You know, you're in your own ninth house. You, you have your spiritual journey. You know what journey you're going on. And someone is just literally wasting your time. I'm sorry. That's exactly what it is. You're in boss mode, but it feels like they need to be more focused and more disciplined on their area instead of trying to tell you what area you need to be on. Because this is a very powerful moment for you to get something off and running. You know, you're off and running on this start. You're doing whatever it is you need to do. I'm getting this new career going. I'm getting this family going. I'm getting all of this going. I'm going to school. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. I don't need all of this, right? You're in the mode of a huge cycle change, you know, of things that need to be done. If someone is coming at you and you need to get something off your chest, you might as well do so from your heart chakra. Let them know. You know what? This is my powerful time right now. Maybe you need your own. Go focus on what you need. Because it does feel like they're kind of in your business, more worried about what you're doing. And this is why it's saying conflict and defeat. You Stop worrying about what I'm doing. Go worry about what you're doing. Because you, what they're trying to do is hinder your growth. Hinder your fulfillment of wish. Hinder your, you know, your journey. Maybe even trying to confront you to tell you, you know, that whatever you're doing it sounds like bullshit. And you can tell them that's just because you don't have any trust. Where's your trust? Where's your faith? Where's your journey? They don't have one. They run on an everyday, I'm human and I just run around just doing the everyday thing. Which really brings them nowhere. Who cares if they have money? Good for them. They're not realigned though. They need realignment. See, you're realigned. You're going to bring in all these beautiful things. This person may even have alcohol problems, something like this. But whatever their problem is, they're hindering their own stuff. But you know, misery likes company, my friends. So you just keep soul searching. And the more that they're trying to hinder you and keep you back from whatever it is that they're doing, you're just going to say, I don't need you. And you're going to kind of pretty much give them the cold shoulder over here and go soul search. Keep digging, keep meditating, keep doing what you're doing. Um, because it does feel like they want to either come back, Mercury retrograde, either come back into your life. You know, and it's almost like if they are coming back, no matter if they're coming back or if they're already here, guys, it almost makes me just feel like, and who the hell are you to tell me what to do with my life? <laughs> who the hell are you to tell me what to trust and what not to trust? I'm sorry, that is just really how I feel. Because in seriousness, they don't know what they're talking about. And even if they have money and they have some success, do they have anything real to really, really show? Oh, good for you. You have diamonds on your hand. Good for you. You have a car. What about the other meaningful things? We have to look at the deeper pictures of what life is. You know what I'm saying? Because I definitely feel like they're that type of person. Where they're taking all of the things that they may have, but you know what? They're just acting like some like privileged snob because they have this or that or the other. Right? Um, but this is definitely, you know, them wanting to try to make drama and trying to bring it up to the surface with you about who you are and what you should believe in. And I'm just so against that. It's just like, don't tell me who I'm going to be and who I'm not. I'm Taurus, so you ain't going to tell me nothing. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I have that Leo rising, guys. So that Leo inside of you is just going to be like, and, um, excuse me? I already see it happening. Destiny. Standing your ground at the end. There it is. I already said. 
or your financial material changes. And there it is, standing your ground. I already felt that. Like your Leo is going to be like, and who the hell are you? Because after a while, you'd be like, wow, that's not nice. That's not cool at all. Why are you doing that? Then all of a sudden, it's going to get to the point where you're getting a little more fierce. And it's just like, wait a minute. Who are you to tell me what I'm going to do and what I'm not going to do? You pay my bills? You feed my kids? No. Because this definitely isn't your husband or your wife. This is someone else. Someone who doesn't do shit for you, but thinks that they can open their mouth to tell you what you should trust, what you should do, and how you should live your life. Last time I remember, though, they don't, they don't pay for shit. So who are they to come into your life and then, you know, try to mess up your wild dreams? And that's right. Maybe they're wild dreams. That's right. And you know what? Let them be wild. Because sometimes the wilder they are, the more power they get. They may want to think that they're wild and out there and rose-colored glasses. Really? Well, you know what? Maybe they are. But you know what? I have enough trust and enough faith to know that what I want has a foundation. What I know, what it is, can actually have potential to come through. So therefore, it's not just some fantasy rainbow unicorns. Right? So you have this destiny and you're still working on this destiny and like, you know? And yeah, there could be some painful ending that is coming towards the end and it's probably with this friend who won't be quiet, right? Or this love who wants to, you know what I mean? It's almost like a pretend love because if they really loved you, why would they want to push you off something that you want so bad? Setting your ground for the giving and receiving and sharing the wealth. You have a lot of gratitude and you know exactly what you want. You could be even giving a lot to charity and giving others a lot to other people as well. Sharing your ideas. Sharing is caring. Sharing is caring, right? If I share with you and I care about you, you know, it, it goes a long ways. And that's a very good thing, right? And yes, you could be a little over-emotional towards the end of the month, but I also feel that too because that's where that, that piece comes in because no matter, no matter, even if you tell them the things that I said and stand your ground, it's still a little over-emotional, of course, right? But that's just because they're being bitchy, cold-hearted, cruel, bitter towards you. Trying to tell you what to do. They want you to be easily influenced, my friends, by their decisions. This is not their decision. <coughs> Excuse me. This is all about you. This has nothing to do with them. Because that's what it is. Thieving. Trying to thieve your glory from you. Trying to change you back into the fear. Trying to bring that fear back. Who are these people? Making conflicts with others. What? Oh, that's just because they're not getting their way. But you have this beautiful transition that's saying, no, I know where my house is and I know who I am. And I'm not going to argue with you anymore. So with the financial material changes and the destiny over here, oh my gosh. I'm loving this because you're really squaring off for yourself within your spirituality, knowing your truth and really standing your ground about the trust and where you're going in life. So the financial material changes is really this conflict and this, this person really wants to be conflictable with you guys, but it's really showing the wealth and the king of pentacles of where you're really standing for the abundance and really getting disciplined. You know where you're going and what you want. You have a completion coming. Wow. The completion card, the world card is really coming at the very, very end of the month where it says now you're arriving to a new area. You kept where you need to be. You know where it is you want to put your energy you don't let this person tell you what you're going to do or who you're going to be. You have the wholeness and the attainment within yourself. Understanding. And it's undergoing major changes and feelings of what it is you really want, letting go of any past issues. And any of these issues that are regarding any of this control from this other person, you're saying, no, I'm going to have... This is all going away too because I'm not listening to you anymore because I'm having an inner transformation that is taking place at this time, which is now going to lead me to my next chapter next month. So next month, get ready, right? Because you're going to feel whole again. 
You're traveling to this place of fulfillment, this place where finances are going to start coming through, things are going to look more attainable, new jobs are opening, new things are coming towards you. You're going to have a lot of juggling to do when it comes to a lot of time management, adaptability towards this, this newfound energy that you have and the things that are going around you. You might even be, you know, juggling multiple things at once, your family plus this new job plus this plus that whatever it is you want, right? But you're going to feel good. Wow, you're going to feel good about it. Look at that, Ace of Pentacles. I feel good about it because I know that the universe is handing this to me. It's just about timing. I just have to stay focused. There you go. Because you're what? Building something. You're building. You're in the building block area right now. You're building your world. Right? You're building up where you want to be. People are going to start collaborating. The right people are collaborating with you. And you have the Wheel of Fortune, the cycle of change. Your destiny. There's that destiny again in the very beginning. Karmic cycles coming. Good karmic cycles. You'll have ups and downs, of course. Of course. But that's where you're really leading yourself for next, you know, next month. Um... So as we start breaking down things, like I said, guys, this is almost the same way um, that uh, that yearly prediction was. So if you guys have not watched that, be sure to check that out because it's talking about pretty much the same thing, kind of differently, of course, because we're talking about just the ninth house. And remember, there's 12 houses. Um, but in seriousness, if you watch the way that this is kind of going and you watch the way the winter is going, you're really going to see kind of the, you know, the makings and the markings of how everything for the year is kind of breaking down into um, little areas, right? You got unexpected interest coming to you pretty soon. And this is just kind of seeing the building blocks of how that's actually taking place. So very interesting and very cool. Okay, guys, until next time, peace and love. Bye-bye.